In problem number 45 of section 2.4, we're given a uh, function g, and we're asked to evaluate as a derivative at the point 2. Now, there's a little trick here that might make this a little bit easier. That's, uh, notice that this is function g of x uh, defined as an integral with respect to t. So that means that in the integral, x is essentially a constant. So we can rewrite this as uh, the integral of 0 to x squared e to the x times e to the t dt. And now since x, x is essentially constant, we can actually just pull out e to the x. And we're left with the integral from 0 to x squared of um, e to the t dt. So now we have the product of two functions of x, uh, the first function being e to the x, and the second function is the integral from 0 to x squared of e to the t dt. So to find the derivative of g, we just apply the product rule, and we start out by taking the first term times the derivative of the second. So now the derivative of um, the integral from 0 to x squared of e to the t dt. Well, this is actually a composition of functions. We're first applying the function, uh, the squaring function, and then we're applying the function 0 to x of e to the t dt. So we know that the integral of the outer function, the integral part, is uh, given by the fundamental theorem of calculus to just be e to the x squared. But then we need to multiply that by uh, the derivative of the inside, which is the squared function. So we're left with times uh, 2x. So that was the first part of the product rule. Uh, now the second part, we want to um, first take the derivative of the, the first function, which stays the same as e, just e to the x. And now the second part, uh, we can evaluate this and just um, take the integral with respect to t. So we're going to be given, or this will give us uh, e to the x squared, or e to the t evaluated from 0 to x squared, which becomes uh, e to the x squared minus e to the 0, or just 1. So. Here's a closed form for the derivative of g. And now we want to evaluate this uh, at x equals 2. So this is e squared times e to the fourth uh, times 4 plus e squared times e to the fourth. Uh, minus 1. We have 4 e to the 6th uh, plus e to the 6th minus e squared. And that finally becomes 5 e to the 6th minus e squared.